Hi everyone, this is Cindy with Creative with the Heart. And as you can see, my desk is super, super messy because as I've been creating for my 25 days of Christmas on my blog, it's just, it becomes more and more difficult to put stuff away because I'm trying to keep up because I have a bigger project that I need to work on. It's going to take a few more days for me to finish. So today I'm talking about um, the mink. So, God, such a huge mess. So the mink is, mostly I see people using the mink for one layer cards, right? One layer cards. And I showed these in an earlier video. And so what I did with two of the cards that I had made using the mink is I actually cut the elements out and I'm actually going to put together um, a little scene in, in so two separate videos. So I did this one, the You're Cool comes from Mama Elephant, and then this is Lawn Fawn. And I have a die for this, which makes this much, much easier. So this is the Lawn Fawn, and then the little die. These little stamps are such a good deal, and the die is very inexpensive with it. So I have like three of those, four of those winter ones, and I maybe five of them, and I really love them. And I like the fact that they have one main image and one die, so it's it's very cost effective. So I'm starting off, well, first I die cut this. And this is um, done in kind of like a hot pink foil. And then I took the elements, it was your cool, take a penguin's word for it, it was all one stamp, and I just cut it apart. And so what I did was I took, and this is another way of combining stuff that you have. So I took the iceberg stamp from the Arctic penguins from Mama Elephant stamp. And I stamped that right here on my white cardstock. Actually, it's five and a half by four and a quarter card base. And then I just used a blue, kind of a light blue Copic marker just around the edges. All right, so I actually had a scrap of paper. I think this is an Echo Park because, you know, in the month of December, I've challenged myself to use that thing, but Christmas, and not only that, but to kill some pads. So I have to find creative ways to use the three or four pads that I have out right now for the whole month of December. So all my um, thank you cards will be done <clears throat> using my winter paper. So this one worked out perfectly. It was kind of an odd shape. I used, what did I use? I, something new that I just got in the Ellen Hudson 40% um, off sale, I got this Avery L die cuts. It's called Snow Caps, and I'm using it for another card that I'm making too. But I use the, I mean, I have a lot of these like snow drift things. I think they're really awesome. I think they're really good for hills too. I love them. So I don't know. I use that to kind of cut this. And instead of doing it at the bottom, I opted to do it at the top just for a little bit of change. So I'm going to go ahead and add this. So today we're going to not. So we have tickets for Discovery Science Center. They have a science of snow where the kids can go tubing and stuff like that. And it's supposed to rain tomorrow. And it, it's not rain here. What the heck? So rain or shine because there's no refunds. We're going. So I'm going to make sure the kids have some kind of rain gear and we'll be sledding in the rain. <laughs> Hopefully it won't be coming down too hard. So once I've got that, then I'm going to, I put this on foam and it looks like he's kind of skating and it's really pretty shimmer. So I really do love the look of the foil. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down. And this is a very simple card. Okay. But I'm using a lot of different elements. So it's, it's kind of nice. So there's that. And then I have my sentiment that I broke apart because I just kind of wanted some interest. And this is going to be a thank you card. So I need to make about mm, not too many, maybe seven or eight thank you cards. <clears throat> And so you're cool. All right, so now I've got I've got two 
do some sequins. Let me get this in here. Hold on. I There we go. I struggle with this lid. Dang it, I keep knocking stuff over into my trash can. All right, so now I've got my sequins and I'm just gonna um, stick them in the glossy accents. I throw some glossy accents on the side here. And I'm just gonna lay these glossy accented sequins. These are actually from Lawn Fawn because I'm trying to use up what I have I mean, I really love the ones from Pretty Pink Hot Should I have them, but these were already open and I'm just kind of trying to use what I have. Okay, so I've done that and then I've got some, this is some stickles in Icicle. And I'm going to try, hold on get near the end here. I'll just do a little bit of over the blue. Give that icy kind of look. And all right. I am done with my card. And let that dry but here it is very cute and so it's very um shiny and it's just a really good way of using your mink so um <clears throat> you watch the other video where i told you about how i did this but basically i just stamped it and then uh used a photocopy machine that takes toner and then i came home and i foiled it using my mink machine and so then I broke up the elements and just made this card instead of just doing a one layer card. I think that's just a really fun way of using your make machine. So thank you for watching. This is Cindy Crane of the Heart.